So, <coughs> oh shit, not feeling well today. But like I said, we're gonna get some of this gaming daily shit. When episode three, I forgot to show the ending to episode two fully, the teaser of episode three. So you guys are probably gonna not know what's gonna happen in episode three. That's a good thing. All right, let's fucking do this shit. A heavy episode, last episode, shit. In the, In the previous, previous episodes, episodes of Life is Strange. Life is Strange. <gasps> they call film Little Pieces of Time. Because Max wants everybody to see I'm so sick is. of people trying to control me! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Oh, it totally makes sense. You hell saved my life. I think it's awesome you set a tongue record on video. <laughs> You're going to be sorry someday. And there she is. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Let's talk about your superpower. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. You're my business now. That's and I... Rachel's it's bracelet. Why the fuck girl. are you wearing her bracelet? You want me to cut you, bitch? Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Please, get me out of here! Max! Nobody cares part. about me. Nobody cares. I discovered that there's another way to handle this that you could save her. Uh, what are you doing here, coffee. Max? Now, I know today was difficult for everybody. Miss Coffee, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Please, tell us everything. What the hell is this? No. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I believe you, Warren. I believe anything this week. Two more episodes after this. Two more. I can see why this game was so popular when it came out. Tense on this campus nowadays. Used to not be tense, it used to be no one gave a fuck. Now everyone gives a fuck. The chaos theory. Chloe would be all over this. So I better get moving. Uh oh. So it's going down. I still can't stop thinking about Kate. Pretty hard to focus on my class schedule this week. I wonder why. Okay, this is scary dark. Let there be... Okay, this is scary dark. God, that's like some awful TV crime scene in our dorm. So much hypocrite. Jeez. 
going on? Hey, Dana. How are you doing? I just can't stop thinking about Kate. And if this is my fault, too. The Roman Phoenix. No. <laughs> we are all responsible. Blame Victoria. We are all responsible. I think we're all responsible for what happened. Not you, Max. You were close to her. I was the only yeah. one. Yeah. Too bad I was the only one. I know. You're a better person than any of us here. Hey, Max. I think I need to crash now. I'm just over everything today. Finally, audience. Ah. <sighs> Trevor is a sweetie. Good for Dana. If Dana talks to Juliet about this, she's gonna wish she didn't. Yes, the Vortex Club does indeed suck. So much shit is happening. Everything's getting heavy now. Chloe doing what are we doing tonight? So Chloe is waiting for me in front of the main hall. I know I have a set of keys on me. Some Principal ah, Wells. Oh, are you serious? I'm, I'm toast head. if he sees me. Nobody can expel me. Not yet, anyway. Ah, shit. Main building's going this way. Let's creep shit. Uh, let's just... Hi, Prince. Look at Feeling Smith's Caulfield. You have to be stealthier than that. You're not supposed to be outside your dormitory at this hour. You know that. I'm sorry, Principal Wells. I, I'm still upset about Kate. I needed some air and space to walk. I'm sorry you had to go through that today. You tried to help, but God damn it, Blackwell is my responsibility. And I I let her and Kate down. Go on back inside. Get some rest. It's been a shitty day. Good night, Max. Great. So how do I get past him to meet Chloe? I have something to show you. Meet up in front of the campus. Get that ass in gear now, Max. Just tell her the truth. Oh, got SMS, private number. Hey, whore, feminazis will be exterminated. Watch out. I don't fucking know who you are, but okay. Hey, Max, don't want to bother you. Just, just check to see how you are. I know today was hard, but you did more than anybody could help Kate. I'm proud of you, and if you need to talk, I'm always here anytime. Thanks, Warren. I'm still processing Nathan got suspended. At least I call you later, Kate. I'm assuming that's that's Nathan, and that's the Papa Nathan. So at least you know who the private numbers is. Look, a oh, totem. The most magical insects. Burn bright. Shit, we can't walk that way. See so if we can go in here. Oh, it's unlocked. I hope Sammy wasn't around. We can go through this door, right? Nope, nope. Hmm. I know Samuel doesn't wear silky scarves. Oh, great. He saw me. Maybe I could sneak by when he was trying to open the door. Ain't no one seeing shit. Hmm. Jesus. I still
still can't believe she jumped. Okay. Can't go away. There's no way in there. Windows. Everywhere I go, I can see how I'm altering history. Big and small. Rachel owes me money. Pay up, bitch. Oh, that's lovely tree work. Is he gone? No. Still fucking there. Now he's never saw me. Oh, I need help. This is a puzzling. Can't go in there. Sit down. See if that does anything. What the hell am I doing out here? Kate is dead and I'm sneaking around. This campus looks like a cemetery. Maybe I could sneak by when he was trying to open the door. Oh, that makes some sense. Okay, we gotta go all the way back in time to move that. Set of keys on me somewhere. Ah, fuck it. Max the ninja strikes again. I never thought of that. That tells you how slow I am at puzzles. You know, fucking ninja, because we only got superpowers. Oh shit. Get it? Boo, yeah. Like I'm a scary punk ghost. More like a scary and sensitive asshole. Chloe, I watched my friend jump off a roof today. I don't think you need to prank me tonight. You always trip out on me for not being there for you, but is this how you're there for me? I'm... I'm sorry, Max. I, I wasn't even thinking. I suck. I'm not trying to be a bitch, but... I'll never get the image out of my head of Kate jumping off that roof. All because my power didn't work. It didn't mean shit. I know seeing Kate fall was horrible. I don't even know how to deal with that, so I just... act like an idiot. But it's your badass power that's gonna bring all this to a close. We just need to connect the players. And find out who really killed Kate. We have to stop this from happening to anybody else. Oh yeah, and somehow stop that tornado from wiping out Arcadia Bay, right? I hope so, Chloe. No. But how? Snow and Eclipse are bad omens. Okay. This whole town is a bad omen. And notice that Blackwell seems to be ground zero. Chloe, I just feel weird about some of my decisions. Especially after I just got Nathan expelled. Dude, do not even torture yourself like that. Let's focus on looking for clues, okay? We need to find Rachel. out more about who Rachel was involved with around here. She was able to blend in with everybody, even with people I hated. And even though I don't know her, it feels like Rachel is guiding us to the truth. Fuck the truth. I just want to find my friend right now. It scares me to think where she could be. Do you think she's... Dead? I'm sorry. I hate even saying that, Chloe. Not as much as I hate thinking it. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. We have to. I promise you we will. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Now tell me what's your secret. Drum roll, please. I present the spare keys to Blackwell. Thank you, Step Prick. 
You are such a boss, Chloe. I just don't want you to get into any more trouble. Look at all the trouble dropping in Arcadia Bay. At this point, who gives a fuck anymore? We're in it to win it, Max. Lead the way. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. I it's forget why we're robbing right the here. school again. Are we robbing the school? We're just trying to find shit out. Thank you again so much for helping me put together a portfolio. Oh, okay. Hopefully the good. rest of the class will follow your lead. I'm sorry I was distracted. As you know, it's not been a good day for Blackwell. I know this has been an awful day, and you can talk to me anytime, Mr. Jefferson. Thank you, Victoria. I imagine uh, you're pretty upset over Kate as well. I'm like still in shock. I've never seen anybody die. I really cared about Katie. Katie? I had no idea you two were that close. Did she? Well, how does this affect the Everyday Heroes contest? It doesn't. The contest is still a go, and I still have to pick the winner to best represent Blackwell. I've got all the photos, except one from Max. I'll give you a one-word sneak preview of Max's photo. Selfie. Listen, you've seen my entry. You know it's better than that. Wouldn't that be so cool to hang out together in San Francisco, Mark? Stick to Mr. Jefferson, Victoria, please. And, uh, I haven't picked a winner yet. You already love my work, so it's not like you're playing favorites. Just imagine if you picked my photo, though. We would have to spend a lot of time together. That could be fun, don't you think? I'm going to think that you didn't say any of that. You might as well choose me. Otherwise, I might have to tell people you offered to choose my photo for favors from something. As a favor to your future, I'll also ignore that undisguised threat. This conversation is officially over, Miss Chase. I suggest you go back to your dorm now. Wait! I only... Oh, she's she's trying to you play that. Kidding me. He's a tough nail. You can't get to him. You're not. He's not playing any of your shit games. It's so stupid. Just when I think Victoria can't get any more evil, shit is about to get real at Blackwell. Let's go find out. Victoria is a bitch. Damn. <laughs> Chloe the Keymaster. You know it. Dude, I don't know about this. We're both already in so much trouble. Not to mention the weed you brought into my room. Joking. I'm serious. We're not kids anymore. We're breaking and entering. If I have a key, how can it be breaking? They can't charge us for just entering. I'm serious. We could go to jail. Not if I'm related to the head of Blackwell security. Step shit will not want me in the hands of the local police. So we better find out what's in the principal's office first. You can rewind if we get caught, right? You have mad powers, Max. Tell that to Kate. Come on. One more door and our work here is done. Hope we don't get caught. It. What the fuck? The security officer should have the key to the principal's office. He's hiding shit, like everybody here. Well, now we definitely have to get this door open. Believe it or not, I know a little about lockpicking, thanks to Frank. I might as well test out my thief skill. Go for it. We're already in this deep. Well, you could look for the key, just in case. Why, yes, I could. Oh. Is it in here? Crap. Just files. In here? Boring. More fucking files. In here? Dead nope. End. Is this. Oh, no, hope. Nothing nope. here. Damn. Only a total phony would wear a crappy hat like that. Hey, there's a key right. Here are the keys. None for the principal's office. No key for thee. We have to find another way in. OK. 
guess I didn't spend enough time with Frank. But I'll use my DIY lockpick tools while you come up with a better plan. My plan has a name. <sighs> Shit. Hey, Warren, you busy? Just bubble hearth, you'll be okay. Listen, I need your physics expertise stat. Without naming names, if somebody had access to the art and science labs and wanted to construct a device that would, say, open a locked door, would you maybe kind of know how? Oh, don't tell oh, Warren. No, I'm just asking for fun. Thanks, science guy. Uh, no, 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 stay. We need you as backup. Just send the text instructions now. I'm sorry, I'm just not sure about a movie night right now. Don't hate me, and thanks for the help. Damn, Warren. This sucks ass. Goddamn door. Try not to wake up everybody at Blackwell. Sorry, Max. I got nothing. What about your plan? I'm gonna go put it together. Can you stay here and not get caught? I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. The race is on. <coughs> See you soon. Oh, boy. We're gonna make it. Warren. We don't have time for other texts. Warren is such a classic nerd. Let's see if I can find those items. Anything down this way? Oh shit, it's actually letting us go. Science class. Bambino! Gross. I hate that formalin smell. Oh boy, we mm, got some sugar. sugar. What else we need? Mom. We need sugar, sodium, soda can, duct tape, sodium chloride. What a Only three more items thing. to go. We don't need that. Aquarium. Fucking science book. You're an artist, damn it, not a scientist. But this is so not sodium chlorate. Could be in here. It's a poster. Diagram, exam files, shit. Anything over here? Chemistry stuff. No, this mixture doth not work. Nope. None of these, unless. Nope. Okay. sad you tried to see the good in the world. Shit. Daniel's a better illustrator than photographer, said Max the art critic. Victoria, that is pretty fucking sweet. How can I hate somebody that shoots like that? Victoria's cigarettes? <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Jefferson is impressed. Is there anything in here we should to be concerned that exists? There it is. Good old the tape, tape is mine. You're halfway home, Max. Still here, didn't blow up yet. I need the concentrate now to T U L. So I'm assuming each room holds their own little doodle.
this one we just came out of. Nothing in it. Damn, no sodas. A boo ha ha. Is it Halloween? Just emptied. Nothing here. Oh, the, the toilets have bathrooms. Not the men's. That'd be too much for a video game. A long time ago, Nathan got smacked down. Oh boy. Release the crack hand. It's all mine anyway. Got it. Only one just more ingredient left. Just that ingredient, there's a science lab. Poster. What the fuck would that be? Bigfoots. Maybe it's over here. Maybe the game doesn't want us to go over there. <sighs> Here's the sodium chloride box. Oh. Let's take it. You know you're clumsy, Max. Don't waste your rewind power. Use the damn chair. Well, let's get the damn chair. Boom. Got it all. Now it's time to show Chloe that Max is the bomb. So it was in the science lab. Gotta hurry up before we get caught. Take it easy on the door, Chloe. Let's try this instead. Boom! Literally. Yes! Time to blow shit up! If you'll light the candle. This is so cool! Get ready to haul ass. This is gonna be a loud ass explosion, ain't it? That was so fucking cool! Oh, we are toast! Here comes the whole Arcadia Bay Fire and Police Department. Uh, so what should we do? Oh, that's the bathroom. First off, we come here. Seriously, we blew the door open when I gotta go in. Something happened. What the shit? If I can get this bastard open, she can't cheat with her rewind. Oh, this is bullshit. Fucking door. Oh, that genius. Welcome to my domain. You are magic. I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. The company I keep. Now, let's find what we want and beat it. My powers only go so far. Man, I can see why the principal locks this room up. Fancy faux art crap. He must want everybody to know he has money, but no taste. How can you trust somebody who has a fucking bronze bird in his office? I'm glad I was expelled. Yes, if only the principal had a Monet or Picasso, you'd still be at Blackwell. Eat me. 
I'm gonna pill for the papers on this ugly ass desk. Okay, sure. It's ugly, but damn, is it a cozy chair. This is your chance to truly get all deductive and shit, Sherlock. Find us some clues about Rachel, or Kate, or Nathan. Anybody. I'm on the case. We gotta know everything. Put on the lamp. Kate's file. This pretty much sums up Kate. Shy and sweet. And in the wrong place. Not Only two more memory. files to go. Wowzer, this will so not come in handy. What Warren? I'd drink too if I was the principal of Blackwell. And nothing here. Well, I'll be damned. Rachel doesn't seem so troubled based on all this. But there's not much here about the police investigation. Man, I don't blame the principal for expelling Chloe. Bad Chloe. What, uh... Oh shit, she did a lot of fuck shit. Let's nab this last file, Sherlock. Weird. This asshole has a spotless record. Like I'm not gonna read my own personal file. Max is preferred to be called Maxine Caulfield. Quite alternative student with much potential for her photography, her GPA, blah 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 blah. I think we found everything in here. I should go join Chloe now. Max, you better come check out these files. Nathan accuses Rachel of bringing drugs on campus, and my step troll went along because he thinks Rachel was a bad influence on me. Assholes. If David is teaming up with Nathan Prescott, that's a bad sign. Nathan Prescott III. Ooh, he's so money. And you know the Prescotts dropped major bank to bury Nathan's real file. Look, it reads like a rap sheet. Bad grades, teacher complaints, secret probation. But I was expelled? At least Nathan was finally suspended. Check out that note. Open it. It's just some crazy drawing. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. That's fucked up. What does this even mean? Nathan is truly psychotic. And yet he's but allowed you know, he to stay at the school? He has something to do with Rachel missing. Whoa, listen to this. David M. always asks what's going on in my head. David M. always helps me follow those he follows. <sighs> it's pretty cryptic. No, it sounds like they formed some sort of weird team, the Super Hebros. Jesus. David was stalking Kate, hassling me, and now we know he was all over Rachel, too. Oh, we are so going into his garage files. Plus, I'm getting a little paranoid in here. We got our info, let's bail. But maybe we shouldn't leave without a gift. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. Damn it, Chloe. We should definitely get out we of here. We can buy a damn We pressed chair. our luck enough. Hello, what have we here? Holy shit! Jackpot! Cha-ching! Wow, sir. That's a lot for the handicapped fund. Dude, there's $5,000 here. I could pay Frank back tonight. This will chill him out after you almost, you know, shot him. Are you Bloody. gonna make a big issue out of this? Or just the handicap it for fun. If it was be that, if it was drug right. money, we'd think otherwise. 
You really want to take money from the handicapped fund? I know you need to pay Frank back, but... I've got my power to protect you, right? There's a lot of power in that horse-choking wad of cash. But yes, Moral Max is right again. I guess. Let's get the hell out of this office morgue. I know that money would have helped Chloe and me. We gonna be nice. That impish look scares me. Care for a midnight swim? The Blackwell pool is ours. Swimming? You want to take that risk now? It's been a cray week. You didn't let me take that money to pay off Frank, so if he pops a cap in my skull, at least allow me to have a little carefree fun for a few minutes. Splish Splash? You're right. We hella deserve it. Splish Splash. Did you actually just say hella? I think I'm a good bad influence on you. <laughs> hella Splish Splash. We gonna get caught so bad. Fucking deal. I want that heated water. We still have to play it cool, okay? I still go to school here. You can own this hellhole once you figure out your rewind power. Chloe is so psyched for girls' night out, so I better follow her evil plan. Add, add, look. Women's locker room. Women's locker room. Okay, I thought we had to do something here. Boys or girls? Boys Go to the board. boys. Figures. Perv. Hey, Let me check we gotta live a little. Break the boundaries. Boop. Shit. Plus, they got a bunch of shit we can steal. I got a jacket. I guess somebody forgot their Blackwell spirit. <laughs> Graffiti sex me up. Oh, boy, yep. This is... Oh, shit. Is that a meme? Dana needs a baby daddy. Oh fuck. What is this? Oh lord. Max is a feminazi. I heart warned. I bet you do. Welcome to 1950. Oh boy, the boys really put some weird shit on their walls. Sometimes. Oh, it's an easy. Some poor hipster lost their vape. <laughs> Betty developed that in Jefferson's class. But why? Character models creep me the fuck out sometimes. No way am I touching Zach's jersey. Floaties! This must be for training kids. What am I supposed to be doing in here? Nathan! It's okay for Nathan to be hooked on these drugs, right? Vape. Graffiti, graffiti. Max Caulfield, Moral Avenger. Or self righteous hypocrite. Oh, here we are. Oh, this actually looks like a real pooly area. Max, try to find the light for the pool. I want to see the sharks. Otters don't like sharks, they bite. So do I. Hit that light. Are you fucking serious? Uh. Oh, oxygen kit. There has to be a control panel for the lights around here. What's in this? Yes, More. we get oh. it. Otters. Files and pictures. A cool Coffee and swimming. Good combo. Oh, that's bright as fuck. Oh, 
that's beautiful. I've always wanted to go swimming in the dark with the lights on. The pool looks like a magical being. Where the fuck did you get a two piece? You just happen to have that on you? Time to do or dive, Max. Okay, um, dive. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. Feels like a hot tub. Too bad you made me feel like the queen of assholes because I wanted that cash stash. Tell me you're not gonna stand there watching me like a zombie. Don't you dare! Come stop me, hippie! Okay, you asked for it. Oh. Women after they were carrying around bikini. Cowabunga! I said, like, what? Why, look, an otter in my water. Dun 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 dun. You are so obvious. And I still get freaked out by that movie, so stop. I can't even watch any of those shark shows. Oh, you freaked out about Jaws. Oh. We got someone watching. I'll just rewind oh, that's some jazz right there. Otter's revenge. Cheater. Yeah, you wouldn't know about that. I wish Rachel was here. She would totally love being in here at night. Wish you guys had met each other. We will. With all this stuff going on, I'm starting to think everything is related. And I want to find out why for Kate's sake. She didn't deserve to die. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. You know what I mean. You're becoming like this force of nature. More like luck of nature. Come on, my power failed trying to rescue Kate. Maybe I'm just stumbling back and forth in time. For what reason? You didn't stumble when you saved me, Max. Thank God. But what if I had? What if you and Kate would both be dead? So it's time to start moving forward in time. And we're obviously connected since without me, you would have never discovered your power, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. You make me feel like I know what I'm doing. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. I hope so. Stop being so goddamn humble. You're like the smartest, most talented person I've ever known. More than Rachel Amber? Dude, I'm not her groupie, okay? And I'm sure you have Blackwell bros all over you. Like Warren. Warren is Warren nice. Warren is... nice. <laughs> nice? Ouch. That means friend zone. No, he's really cool. It was so sweet when he stood up to Nathan. But I haven't told him about my rewind power. No worries. Once you get over yourself, you're gonna make the world bow. As long as you're there with me. Don't look so sad. I'm never leaving you. Now I'm getting cold in here. You just turned the heat on. Because we're yapping <laughs> instead of attacking each other. Otter versus shark style. I, uh, think I've had my pool experience for the year. Let's check. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. Something to take it we never got caught. Gross. I feel like we just went swimming in Chlorine Bay. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Thanks. You would know. Oh, shit. Hi! Let's get the fuck out of here. How the fuck we get in here? What else? The engines. Move, Air. Max. Don't waste your power on getting busted. Are you shitting me? Like when we were kids. I could use my power. Or just look for a hiding spot. Or both. Where are they? Hello? He's in here. 
There's totes in there. Hiding spot somewhere. Hello? Anybody there? Shit. Better not try any Halloween pranks after today. I'm serious. Where's shit go? I heard something over here. Shit. Who's here? I got I got a flashlight and a stick. Hey! <laughs> I got I got a flashlight and a stick. Run your damn hey. ah, go away. Flashlight and a stick. Hey. Ah, he still saw me. A stick. Ah, too far. I got I got a flashlight okay. and a stick. Whew. Whew. That's good. That's good hiding there. Okay. Okay, we should sneak out of here. That was close. Okay. Fuck you. You're so invisible. Let's bail. Someone just happened to have the, 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 the pool on. Someone just left the pool on. Yeah, that's what happened. Wait, turn around. They're coming. We have to find another way out. Oh, this is bullshit. You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. You want me to crash where the Blackwell security officer lives so I'll be safe? Uh, okay. Into the car. We so gonna be caught. Get in. We got away from that shit scot free. Whew. That was it's freaky. Escape some on some bullshit right there. Is we awake yet? Take a selfie one. Always not? remember this moment. Photo bomb. Photo hog. Why the fuck did she wake up? It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Like it needs another one. I'd like to do something good for my school in Arcadia Bay. I can't even submit my photo to represent. I just don't want to be rejected. Every great artist gets rejected before they get accepted. So you have to enter a photo. Even though I'm pimping the school in town you want to torch? Come on, I don't want to see Arcadia Bay burn to the shore. I just say shit like that because I've been trying to get out of here since... since you left, basically. If I could find Rachel, then pay Frank off. I'm still leaving to start a whole new life. Wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. 
Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. Oh, does the schoolgirl have a test today? I'm starting to feel like going to Blackwell every day is a test. I just need to get on my regular school schedule again. I know that it is freezing, but I think we have to walk. Keep waving at the taxis, they keep the turning the on down. lights on. Okay, I need to get dressed now. Oh. I'm lucky David didn't bust me for acting like it was my pot. Frank might think twice about messing with Chloe now, but if David finds out, shitstorm. Ugh, still reeks like a chlorine factory. See if you can find a suitable outfit in my fashion hole. Oh boy. Okay, time for some Chloe cosplay. Hey, there you go. Rachel left a bunch of her clothes with me. She's your size. But not quite my style. Max, you don't have a style yet. At least give it a try. You can always rewind back to your chlorine brand t-shirt and generic jeans. You suck. I like my shirt and jeans. But it would be cool to try on Rachel's clothes just to see if they fit. Stop second-guessing yourself, Max. Put this on and let your inner punk rock girl come out. You can afford to take chances whenever and whatever you want to try. For example, I dare you to kiss me. What? I double dare you. Kiss me now. Um. Sure. I guess. Damn. You're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such a dork. But can we get on the clothes and go take the good old math test? That was priceless when I kissed Chloe. She didn't think I would. Let's just get into our clothes. I've been around the teens. Looking sick, Max. A couple tats, some piercings, and we'll make a thrasher out of you yet. Ready for the mosh pit, Shaka bra. Maybe not. Go on down and say hi to Joyce. Free breakfast? I have to uh, wake and bake first. I promise not to tell. Let's not rewind and find out, okay? Wow. I remember this old phone. We decorated it together. The fact that she put the photo next to Rachel is so touching. Oh, okay. Oh my god, that smells so amazing. It's like when we were kids here. Miss Clawford, I want to thank you so much for your actions with my daughter Kate. You showed true grace and bravery when you went up to that roof with her. You must know you did all that was possible in Kate's life that was never in your hands, or even hers at the point. Kate has left us for another world, but she'll always be with us. I know she wants you to have a long, dynamic, blessed life. Our family will forever include you in our prayers. Peace and joy, Rich and Marsh. Who the fuck was that? Photo. I always take photos. I want a camera like that. Shit, just print out the pictures instead of getting them printed out. I better not go in there. David might be in bed. Ew. Ain't nothing wrong with watching another man. <laughs> Also, I hope there's breakfast for us all. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel, uh, uh, I mean Max. Oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her or Chloe. Now tell me exactly what you want to chow on. Eggs and bacon. Eggs and bacon all the way. 
Remember when you guys would sleep in until I yelled out, wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey? Totally. We'd wake up so fast. So this time you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the actual eggs and the bacon. The actual egg? Oh no, not the fake eggs. I can handle eggs and bacon. The uh, eggs the fake always come egg. first, as Joyce used to say. Oh shit, where the bacon? Open up the fridge. I should evolve and become a vegan, but huh, bacon. Bacon's delish. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Is there any reason that Rachel might be mad at Chloe and left without her? Chloe could piss everybody off but her. They were almost joined at the head. Reminded me of you and Chloe. But Rachel wasn't as grounded as you. I'm grounded? Since when? Maybe that's why Chloe likes Rachel so much. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? Maybe. Maybe. Rachel was so much cooler. There's got a little jealousy <laughs> in me. Think? Then why has Chloe been telling me she wishes she could be more like you over the past five years? Doubt it. Um, did she really? Five years ago feels like a thousand now. And that makes me what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, you. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. You got that? Oh shit, I got some Wowza. cereal. Chloe still eats the same cereal. So do I. Oh shit. Can we go inside? Yeah, let's go inside and take a breather. Three dead birds lined up? That's fucking ominous. That's fucking weird. That's it. I'm taken. I remember when Chloe and me would take turns in the swing. We would push each other so hard we'd fly way up in the air. Chloe always wanted to swing all the way around. I always got scared and would jump off before I flew off. And Chloe is still trying to get high. <sighs> I wonder how these birds died. There's something coming. Oh, dead bird. Poor thing. I don't think somebody was out here just shooting birds for the fun of it. Some strange shit going on in this. Who drinks beer this early around here? Kate's life was sure worth a nice exploitive headline. Well, now there's dead birds. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Uh oh, you got some food. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. Good, you can clean. Well, damn. eggs and bacon to my belly. 
Newspaper, uh, uh, plan, uh, peanut butter. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Can we get the fuck up? Wait, is that a bird? Why is that a bird way the fuck up there? Kate's life was sure worth a nice exploitive headline. Seeing you again, ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this, and... and... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive. Everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Uh oh. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please. It's too early to start picking a fight. Heed instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Uh, no one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me, I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now who's being paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. I do need to get into David's computer. He's gotta be hiding shit. No shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. Cereal? Nothing to see here. Hmm. Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Such wrong. Nothing in it. Naturally, David would buy a heavy-duty military padlock. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. 7171. Maybe. 7171? Nope. nope. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Ain't the padlock. Gun rack. Hmm. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. Huh. Let's try that one. It's pretty personal. This oh, shit balls. No way, Max. Damn it. Oh, wait. It ain't that. Open drawer. I could try the license number for the password. All right, let's try that shit. Worst hacker ever. No, I'm top. Damn it. We're gonna get through this. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? Wow. 
Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. That makes sense. It's very personal. Oh, wait. It would be under family. Magic 8 Ball says no. No. Are you fucking serious, David? Okay, we're gonna use two times the same, find two different fucking objects. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. That's cute. Could be a password here. Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. Now the car looks ready to roll. This is a better hobby for David than surveillance. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. Found a trophy. David has been dragging his head around since 2001. We got three. Uh, family is in the new get stepdad. Okay, we got army. Keep up your wings. <sighs> Try again. No way, Max. You totally let off. Single shot of war 2001? Such wrong. So I think the last password is the family. I still need to find the password to David's computer. Plate. We already tried the tape. Got the book. Drawer, drawer. There's no way Chloe can put that gun back now. <sighs> drawer, shit. Trophy, shit. Ten visor. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get, that might be a useful password. It is. Should turn it around. Oof. This has to be the only one. Let us in. Oh, yeah. Score. Max the Hacker strikes again. Whoa. Spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. Why does David care? Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. This is so wrong. Oh, creepy bastard. I better tell Chloe about this now. It's just one more thing to make her sad and mad. Hey, Chloe. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? 
and I'm gonna bust them. <sighs> Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody, like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. He threatens them with surveillance cameras, so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now, Chloe. He used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Gotta, gotta side with some... You're a bully, David. I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even threatened me. I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Uh, you were smoking pot in Chloe's room. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you should calm down. Uh oh You're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Well, screw you. David! You better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. We had to. I hope her. Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. Understand? Yeah, tell the truth, David. Can't hide, can't hide your ghosts in the closets. Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. Jeez. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna All prove? Right. Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything. For his sake. Shit. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't Chloe's... let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Locked. Shit. Where's the key? Dad. Maximo. Wait, who else? Warren. I have an extra one in case you change your mind. 
I don't know, movie sounds pretty damn good out of this shit. Damn bird, fucking bird. Fisherman. Door. Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Ugh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. I got an idea. I just Bye. wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you. That didn't work. Straight up dick move. You eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those beans. <laughs> Shit. We can make it do it for an eternity. You show up after almost shooting me? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. The fuck do you want? How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. Aiming a gun doesn't make you any sexier. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. Huh. Maybe we all did. Is that 13 Reasons Why shit right there? <coughs> We're all part of this connected some fucking hell. It's How bigger blocks than you see. I'm so sorry you had to be up there with Kate when she, you know, just know that we're proud of you for going up there. Thanks, Officer Barry. I know you guys deal with this stuff way more than me, but it is hard to deal with. I'm glad you're representing Black Bull Academy. I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's too eager. He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. Mm. Yep. Okay, thought that could go again after we talked to the little prick. Not a damn it. Get to talk to him. What the fuck now? Could I get you to drop Chloe's debt? Are you supposed to be a smart student? You'll find out if you do me this favor. Thanks, Godmother. But I don't need your favors. And Chloe doesn't get any from me. What the fuck now? Hey, never mind. Thought we'd have a different option. Got a cop. Nathan is here. Rachel? Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh. Oh, look. Max Amber. Nice outfit. <laughs> By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you tweet bitch. You're lucky this is a public place. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh, yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. Uh, your father. Your sugar daddy will always protect you and threaten me. You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care? Hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. Maybe I could help you. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face. Oh, let's try this Holy again. Shit, what do you want now? 
I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. Let's try it with Frank and see where that goes. But that doesn't explain the recent extreme weather patterns. No, but we have to start with the hypothesis that climate change is a partial cause for the unseasonal weather. Oh, God, it's that doesn't the news. explain everything. What the course. fuck now? Frankly, we don't know yet. Okay, I thought that could help. Uh, shit. Key information. What can I do for you, Max? I Gosh. guess Kate Marshall did the the wrong one for a while. Such a waste. Who oh, there was a fast forward button. No, Rachel and Frank, thank Nathan you. Nathan said that Rachel Amber represents Blackwell. With Frank Bowers. Bowers ain't no student anymore. Sadly, he does represent one side of Arcadia Bay. I want you to stay out of his orbit, okay? He man that rabid mutt. I heard something about Frank Bowers and his puppy. My boy does love his dog. Especially when the dog is your personal drooling bodyguard. You can bet he trained that poor thing on blood. Gross. I wouldn't bet. Where did he get the pup? Frank used to bet on dog fights. Now, to his credit, he had a revelation. He saved a bunch of the dogs, kept one for himself. He's still a creep. You and that Chloe stay away, right? Okay. Maybe we can use what shit on the Frank fuck now? now. Save you dogs. You act so scary, but you did save all those dogs. One, I'm not acting. Two, who told you about the dogs? It's actually a great story. You're an animal lover. Could I pet the doggy? I could go grab him from your RV right now. <laughs> I won't even let you pick up the dog shit. Besides, you don't want a leash. You want these keys right here. Look at your eyes dilate. You're worse than a junkie, Max. But no fix for you. We gonna grab the keys? I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Yeah, Give me we... back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now. Oh shit. Key brought. Now back to Chloe. Well shit. We just stole keys and he doesn't even remember. Wish I had this power sometime. Ah, oh, shit, is that weird? We gotta go sail around, just damn it. Let's go back in time. Damn it. Let it pass. Alyssa, watch out! Quick thinking, Max. What the hell is going to... What is she going to do in the story besides be my superhero? Careful, Max. Cujo ahead. I should have known. The amazing Spider-Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. On your mark, get set. Throw! Oh shit, throw towards the road. Get the God treat, treat boy. Get the treat and the run away. in the street. Oh no! Please, please do not let that poor dog be hit. I bet he's fine. I'm sure he is. Come on, we definitely don't have time to waste now. Go back in time! We gotta save the dog! Oh shit! I panic. Oh please, please don't let that dog be hurt. The worst. No, no, we're saving the dog. Okay. In the parking lot. Get the treat, treat boy. I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? 
Now we can snoop in peace. There we well, go. Let's not waste time. Can't let the dog die. I didn't mean to throw it. The dog is busy now, but I didn't read the second back. option. Damn, I thought my room was a shithole. You're not a creepy drug dealer. Frank has issues, but he's not creepy. At least I didn't think so until I saw him with Rachel's bracelet. Oh, we could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond? Yes, we'd be tearing up the highway. And you'd probably want me to kiss you again. Chloe, we're on a schedule. We need clues about Rachel. I know. Just daydreaming. Well, you scope the area with like not a nothing. For info. Frank is almost a made for TV hoarder. This place is nasty. Good to know Frank has a knife lying around. Look. Of course Frank gets the munchies. A book. Is Frank going to deal online now? Are these for Frank or is he selling them? Or both? Crappy wife out here. It's taken days to download. Too bad I don't have my Frank Bowers decoder ring. That's a pretty extreme lighter. Photos. That's almost cute to see Frank posing with his dog. Got a vent and some hidden. I could pry this vent open with the right tool. Let's melt it. Nope. Right, this one. Okay, this vent is loose. I need something to pry it open. Ah, oh, the cupboard. Ooh, Frank's stash. Oh, I don't mind stepping his money. What's in cupboard number one? No more secrets. How can somebody live like this? Frank must spend all his drug money on baggies. <laughs> Recycle, dude. Pompidou? <laughs> For reals? That's a poodle's name. That's... Police radar. Cupboard. No prize here. Damn it. Ah, the knife. This is almost as good as a set of keys. My blade will open one. any portal. Let's take. Oh man. Rachel and Frank's dog. I don't know if I should be touched or disturbed. Frankie B, hope you read this thing in the morning. Sorry about last night. I was being a monstrous bitch and- uh... I'm glad Rachel got to drive this beast. She looks genuinely happy. Rachel really did hang out with Frank. I'm learning more about Rachel than I want to know. Oh, Jesus. Hmm. Trouble in paradise. That makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. 
Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years. My mother gloms on the stepfucker. Now Rachel betrays me. Chloe, Rachel is missing. Nobody betrayed you. Bullshit! Who hasn't? Fuck everybody! Chloe! Chloe, you can't keep blaming me and everybody for everything wrong in your life. It's so not fair. I gotta blame somebody, otherwise it's all my fault. Fuck that. It's just life. Shit happens. It's nobody's fault. Blah blah blah, as Mr. Jefferson would say. And, and Kate Marsh... Yes, Kate Marsh killed herself. She's dead. Such sad, okay? That doesn't make me feel better about my fucked up life, get it? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? You blame William? Really? Yes, I do. Damn right. He chose to go out that door and leave me forever. Chloe, your dad didn't choose to leave you. I know that, Max. My mom actually blames herself. Just because she wanted a ride home from work. Sometimes, even I blame her. No, you don't. Yes, Max, I do. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? And he never does? No, of course not. But I was with you that day. It was just a terrible accident. I wish that made me feel better. But ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. You don't want to hear this, but you're still here. Alive. With me. And that is no accident. You're right. I don't want to hear this. Chloe, I can't do this out on my own. I need you with me. And Rachel needs you. There's some heavy stuff. Oh my god. What is happening now? It all day. Someday dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Not until I see it Bubba, first. I love this you game. know the rules, dad. Max, tell him. Whoa, hey. You look totally pale. Are you okay? Yeah. I just... Uh... Yeah, I'm fine. Okay, Chloe. Give me the thumbs up or thumbs down. 
Well, thanks for joining the, well, the, the live stream, the Carol Jamal. What is this? William is here. Yes, and we can't Chloe is just a kid. Serve us slackers. Am I that well, far back in time? You mean pancakes? In France, they call them crickles. I'm 18 years and old inside my 13-year-old self. If you want to eat How? You can stop Please. him from dying! I'm to break the eggs! Do you remember how many eggs? Mom God said it Lord, depends. this is fucking weird. That's true. So, how many eggs? We can sell for, if we can, chef. prevent right. the future. Right, like you're the real cook here? Let's look around, though. I know I've seen those pictures before. I am when your mom is away. I'll let her know that. Man, I remember Chloe reading this. But not after today. What the? Oh. Now I get to take a picture. Strike a pose. Make me a star. Just make me look young. You can see the bond between Chloe and her father, and the love. Now this is a photo. Hey, honey. Oh, Just shit. making a fabulous breakfast with Chloe and Max. We're all going to work at the Two Whales. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of oh, course I'll come pick you up. Now I have an excuse to get a mocha. Whoa, it's all blurry here. I have to stop William from taking his car today. I have to go rescue yonder queen at the Save Mart. She don't have many bags of don't delicious food for us you to feast on. Please stay. You'll be grateful Please stay. for that someday. Shit, where are my keys? That's wow. a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Keys. Wow. Wow. What did we draw? A butterfly. Are these the keys? No. That's a cool snow dough. Oh crap. Back, 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 back. Where's he at? Aha! Oh god. Where, Jar? You mean your college fund? Keys, please. Score! Whoo! Thank goodness. We can save her dad. Shit, where are those keys? Another dollar for the swear jar! You're bankrupting me! <laughs> are you kidding me? He has a set Max, on him. This is not the best time for a prank. Keys, please. Uh, I was just... Um, are you sure Joyce is ready? Uh, let's, ju let's just wait. I... Um, sorry. Here. I'll get you back someday. No, you won't. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting session. Dad! Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world-famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Don't go out the door! Wait, did we do something? Yeah, I think we did something wrong. Yeah, we did something wrong, okay. We're gonna go all the way back in time, great. Of course Ooh. I'll come pick you up. Crap! I need to hide the keys where William won't hear his dumb beeper. Uh, Excuse me, window. ladies. I have to go rescue yonder uh, queen at the safe mart. And a she bam! Don't have many bags in your pot. Shit! How are you gonna you hear that? For that, someday. that could Shit, have been the keys? worst hiding spot ever. You mean Throw it in the line. face. Keys, please. Oh, whew, whew. I haven't seen your keys. Never see your keys. What are keys? Keys aren't. We don't need keys in, in society. Shit, where are those keys? None of your damn Another business where the fuck the keys are. You stay in this goddamn house. You're bankrupting me. Damn. 
I knew this thing would come in handy. How did my keys get in here? And no Chloe. Fucked up. Found him. For the swear jar. You're uh, bankrupting we, me. We can throw him out the window. No. Do we even have the keys? We don't have the. Oh, we we we. We st we don't Chloe even have the fucking keys. Okay. You can go. You go so fast. There. Max, we're all going to work at the two whales. Throw the keys out the fucking window. Woo! Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. No, the fuck you now won't. Excuse we're gonna wait here for a good bit. Hope we did a hope we did a good and I know I had those keys right here. I know it. No, you don't. You did the keys are non existent. Okay. You, little buddy. Release the keys. Of course. Last time I ordered from Spy Guy Electronics. You can take the bus, right? The stop is right down the street. This I can do. Good call, Max. Oh yeah, the bus is great. And there'll be plenty of room for you and, and Joys and groceries and and it'll save the environment. You soul Joyce will love this. Yay, we prevented death. Max, you're being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. Let me guess he dies. No matter what we do. God damn it. Wait, did 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 we change the future? Did we do it? Did we actually change the outcome of her marriage? That means we changed a good bit of our history too. Wait. What did we do? Oh shit. We changed history completely. I'm not paying one hundred fifty dollars for a car. I heard that the vortex of parties are fine. Dude, the service fee is like fifty percent. Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? All my friends are Victoria. What are you doing? Never, Maxine. So that's why she was laughing so hard. I know. Sorry, Mad Max. You're not pissed at me, right? Right? Do you want to go hit the girl's potty and smoke a peace pipe? I think Max is hot. She's acting like so weird. You cool, Max? Nobody listened when I said we shouldn't let her in the vortex. Courtney, you don't want anybody in the club. Like whatever, bitch. What the shit just happened? Warren, he hooked up with Stella? What did we do to history? Oh, no. Th this is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Chloe. Is he... Oh. It's a bus driver now. Oh shit, we've changed the entire course of history. I don't think we're supposed to do that. This game is really good so far. It twists and turns you. Don't know what to expect. Oh, don't tell me this uh, episode 3 ends. Oh. 
Oh my god. One well was just a three. Max Caulfield, taking a break after taking Seattle by storm, huh? Hmm. We thought we'd never see you again after you left for the big city. No. I'd never do that to Chloe. Speaking of, I know she's been dying to see you. Hold on. She... Chloe! You have a visitor! Did she change her look? Did it look entirely different now? Oh, no. Oh. We fucked up. We should never fuck with history. <laughs> God. Damn, guys, that was episode three. I'm gonna say this game. Jesus, it hits you hard. God damn. Let's skip it and see our chaos theory things real quick. You left the money. We're in the minority. Kiss Chloe. Oh wow, we are in the we are in the majority. Sided with Chloe. I mean, who the fuck wouldn't? You kept Frank's dog from harm? Oh yeah. We ain't we ain't killing dogs in this story. Joey has David's gun. Okay. You reported Nathan. Oh, I wanna see how many people did that. Yes, everyone. Confronted Victoria. Oh, this is just uh, okay, out of time. Oh we didn't look at the out of time stuff. Hey, we did pretty good on all of it. What's going on in the next episode? Oh shit, we're at the party. Ah oh, shit's going down in the next episode. And that will be tomorrow's stream. Might be early in the day, later in the day. But just remember to stay subscribed and like this series. We're going to finish it all the way through. So I hope you guys are enjoying this. I am very much enjoying this game. I've never played it. It's got me on a journey. So, hope you guys enjoy this. See you all tomorrow.